Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how I paint my two frame nukes. That's the bag, that's the front. You can see I staple, staple all together. What I use is I went down to the local hardware store. I talked to them about their pallets that they got uh, different things on. I don't use ones that like oil and stuff like that gets used on. I go through there and uh, I got them for free and I just cut cut this this is three quarter inch I measured it and uh, so for the bottom of the two frame new the front or this is the rear and the front entrance there I take the take another piece of three quarter and sit it underneath there while I staple it all together and I used uh, this is three quarter inch like uh, floor floor decking. This I got from Barnyard Bees. I think a lot of people are copying copying his. I got the measurement off of his website. Uh, I'll probably do a build video on the next batch that I do. But that's a way to save save money is you use uh, this pallet wood. And where I get my paint from is Home Depot and Lowe's. Uh, I go and to the paint counter behind it and it's paints that people got mixed and they took it and painted it on the wall and they didn't like it so they brought it back. So I get a gallon of paint. I don't know if you can see that or not. Like nine bucks. And I know it's all different kinds. Uh, sometimes I get outdoor, sometimes I get indoor. Uh, indoor stays on outside just as well as the outdoor does I believe I mean I'm not keeping it out there for 30 years you know this is only gonna be out there for probably three years maybe at the max but I'll put uh, so I've already got the green open so I'm gonna paint all these uh, with a green same thing what I do with my regular nukes and let that dry and then I'm gonna come back and paint like the front I might do this one uh, a dark blue, this one uh, a pink, and that one a purple. And I might do half pink, half purple, something like that, you know. And maybe leave one, one or two of them green. Uh, but that way they can identify while they're flying back. And what I do with my rollers, uh, this goes on a lot quicker than the brush. I just got one of these little rollers, and that's a plastic insert on the metal tray. I just, when I'm done for the day, I wrap it in cellophane. It's been here for a week. Uh, last Saturday is whenever I, whenever I did this. So let's see. Let's see what it's like. So now I hadn't done nothing to this since last Saturday. Paint still wet. Uh, still wet. And you can see how well that, that rolls on there. So if you just keep a separate one for each one of your colors and just wrap it in cellophane, then you ain't got to wash them at the end of the day. And this goes on so much faster than a brush. I mean, you see I just painted a thick coat on there. So I'll probably put two coats of the this green base, or three coats maybe. And then I'm going to come back and uh, change up the color. Uh, and I don't know how exactly how long you can do that. I mean, this, this thing was like two dollars at, at Lowe's, I believe it was. And but wrapping it in cellophane each time, plastic wrap for some people, uh, it makes it so it won't dry out. And uh, so that way you don't have to wash them, just save it on time too. So anyway, please like and subscribe. I wanted to share that with you on how I paint my. Uh, two frame nukes. Uh, these are going to be my mating nukes. Uh, uh, next year I'm going to be selling bees, nuke boxes, and bees. I uh, just registered the domain bamabees.com. I haven't got the website up yet, so keep looking for that. And if you want some bees, uh, just send me an email or put a comment in here and I'll look at getting them to you. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.